Regular multi-line text fields are boring. You can turn regular text fields into spaces where you can bolden, italicize, underline, highlight, and even color the text that's in them. Now you may know that you can create a rich text editor field, but what if you want to add this capability onto a field that's already in use so you don't have the option of creating one? I introduced to you the rich text editor control that you can add to your forms. This will allow you to have full creative rights on your multi-line text fields in Dynamics on your forms. It's super simple to get this up and running today, but be careful because there are a couple of nuances that you need to be aware of, which I'll cover at the end. As always, here we are back in the Power Apps Maker Portal. We are gonna navigate to our main lead form where we're gonna wanna change the out-of-the-box description field to have the rich text capabilities on it. Now go ahead and navigate to your table and then your main form. And as always, make sure you're doing this in a solution as the best practice, it is important. Don't, don't tell anyone I'm breaking the rules, but we'll keep that between you and me. Now for today's example, as I said, we wanna add these creative abilities to the out of the box description field on the details tab of our lead form. If I refer to creative abilities during this video, I'm just talking about the ability to bolden, italicize, change the font. Etc. Under the details tab, you can find this field here on the out of the box form. This is a multi line text field, and as I said at the beginning, you cannot change the type of field after you've created it. Now, there are a couple of ways to add the rich text editor control to your forms. The most straightforward way is going to be finding components in the ribbon and then opening up the inputs group, and then within the inputs group, finding the rich text editor control. Go ahead and drag this control wherever on the form you would like it to be. Once you let go, you'll need to select the multi-line text field that you want this control to sit on. It will then add the field that you select directly onto the form where you placed it and it's going to add this big text box next to it. The other way that I'm not necessarily covering is clicking on the multi-line text field in your form and then in the right properties pane going down to components and finding the rich text editor control there. Because we obviously don't need two description fields, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this top one from the form. I also highly, highly, highly recommend you hide the label of the field that this control is on. The reason for that is, is this is gonna give you a lot more space for this text box to take up. If you don't wanna hide the label, I would at least recommend changing the label position to be on top as opposed to on the left. Again, I know I'm not doing that, but let's keep it between us. You're doing a good job of keeping these secrets. Let's go ahead and save and publish. And remember, after this is done, I'm gonna tell you how this is actually going to impact your data. And a little spoiler, you definitely need to be careful. While this is publishing, I just wanna say thank you so much for seeing this far into the video. If you're finding this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like and share it with a friend. Sharing the video is the best way to support me and help others learn about the different capabilities in Microsoft D365. Okay, we are now done publishing. Let's go ahead and take a look at a lead in Dynamics. You can see that our description field now has this rich text text box. This is going to allow you to creatify the text in this box as much as you want to, even things like updating the text color. It's time I share these nuances with you that I've been mentioning the whole video. Basically, if you're unfamiliar, the rich text editor control is actually adding code to the information that's being stored on the description field in the database. What do I mean? Well, let's say that here is my description and I wanted to bolden the word YouTube so that it really catches my attention. The rich text editor control is actually adding the appropriate HTML onto what's already in the description field field. This on screen is just to show what it now looks like. When would this matter? A good example that I can think of is Say you wanted this description field to be included in an automatic email notification, then this description in the email is going to include all this HTML code and pretty much make it impossible to read, at least quickly. I'm just saying it's something to be aware of, and if you have that need, you can remove the HTML within your Power Automate just by adding another action. This way you can remove all this HTML gibberish, but that is a conversation for another day. If you're interested in how you can boost the UI UX of your Microsoft Dynamics forms using Power Apps, you're gonna wanna check out this playlist here as I cover a host of different controls that you can easily add to your fields today. Your users are gonna thank you. Thank you guys so much for sticking to end the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.